So I just wanted to clear the record. Um, so someone wrote a comment, but then they deleted it, which is smart of them. <laughs> we got some smart men. What? I'm here for it. So they were like, uh, wow. So that was the video when I was saying, is she bad at writing dick or does she need more practice? Because a lot of men get to practice on women who can't speak up for themselves, such as myself in the past, okay? So I'm not shitting on anyone before I shit on myself. The only reason why I can get up here and talk this shit is because I'm honest with myself. If I wasn't honest with myself, then, I mean, some people are completely delusional, but if I wasn't honest with myself, other people's insults would bother me. But because I'm honest with myself, other people's insults don't bother me. So, um, what's I saying? So there's a man who was like, under my comment about, um, under my video about, is she better writing dick, etc. Or does she need more practice? Because we don't tell men how bad this shit is. We don't. And even me, I'm trying to figure out I, I, how can I put my money to where my mouth is because I'm telling y'all to speak up for yourselves. And it's like, you know, here I am, and I'm not going to have sex with him no more, but I didn't even tell my friend because he's my friend. But if he was just another nigga, I would tell him. And it's just like, well, do I want to throw the whole friendship away? And you know me, I really don't give a fuck. So I might throw the whole friendship away because I need to be honest. Because, you know, I feel like he's going to continue to want to try to come from that angle. And, you know, unless I'm honest with him, he's not going to understand, like, you know, he's not going to get it. He's going to keep asking me about the womb healing shit and he's gonna keep asking me you know all these stupid ass questions that it's just like nigga no the dick was whack okay but i'm gonna figure out how to put it maybe i will record when i figure out how to tell him about the dick maybe i will record what i say and because i'm not i'm really not the type of bitch that's always trying to be like this is an actual friend so i'm not trying to be mean i'm not trying to be petty however i do think that but I don't know. Some niggas can't take feedback. He might be one of those that can't take feedback. And so I just gonna let him walk around with the whack dick and maybe tell him I got in a relationship or something. I mean, that might hurt his little feelings, but I don't care. Hold on. I'm going I'm, I don't know I really I really don't know how I'm going to handle that situation um I really don't know okay so we're getting back to the subject at hand which is um do I hate man um i do not hate men i do not hate men um i said this earlier and i'll say it again i feel like hating men would be like hating fire you know and um we need fire um fire can purify water um but at the end of the day you know fire cannot conquer water so um i don't hate men because that'd be like hating fire fire is so beneficial fire helps us with so many things at the end of the day you have to know how to use fire and you have to know that fire will burn you unless you are willing to step into your femin femininity and be water and accept the the purification that fire brings because you know i feel like every man that has hurt it that every man that's hurt me only pushed me further towards my greatness only woke me up to who i really was only worked me up to what i really deserved um and only woke me up to the element of fire and how to use it and what it's good for and so for me you know i don't hate men because i understand the necessity for men i understand the necessity for fire i understand the necessity for that aspect in that polarity and I think that fire is can be really really beneficial when you know one it will burn you but how to navigate it in a way that it doesn't burn you but that it it purifies you or that it that it it advances you and so you know no I don't I don't hate men um 
I, I have a video that says, you know, thank you to all the men that hurt me, even the one that raped me. And I meant that. I don't, I'm not lying. I don't come on here to just lie. I mean, that's like a whole, I gotta make up all this shit. That's too much fucking work. Okay. So, um, no, I think that men have, have been a great activator, um, for me, a great activator that advanced me and put me in, in positions to really wake up to the, to the, to my own power. You know, like I said, you know, fire can purify water, but water will always put off. If we put fire against water, water will always win. Period. If we put equal amounts together, water. Okay. So if you put them together, you know, when we're talking about water and we're talking about fire, water will always win. But I think that It's just, it's just a balance and it's just about knowing the power of your femininity and not allowing an aspect that is no more powerful than you, um, fire, um, an aspect that's no more powerful than you continue to burn you. You know, there's no need for that. You use the, those aspects of you to advance you forward. And so um, I do not hate men because, you know, a lot of things that I have are from men. Um, even though I'm sustaining my lifestyle now, the lifestyle that I that I have now was introduced to me by men, um, and um, a lot of the equipment that I I mean just everything a lot of the the things that I've been you know fortunate as to have or even in moments of like oh my goodness I don't know what I'm gonna do. It was men that were there uh, to help me and um, give me those things. And so I don't hate men, but I, I know that if we don't and if women don't get in control of their sexuality and their femininity, then they will continue to be burned by, by men instead of using that energy to purify themselves and push themselves and accelerate themselves further and say, okay, well, since I know that, you know, a man is going to do these, these, these things to me, let me use him in this way because the element of fire and the necessity for men is there. It just needs to be used in the right way. Um, and so, you know, I get on here and, and I say what I say, not because I hate men, but because one, it needs to be said. Um, these are things that a lot of women are thinking. These are women, these are a lot of conversations that are, ha that are happening between women that men aren't getting to hear. And so if men do find my channel, they're getting to hear things, you know, you live in a world that's constantly telling you you're good, that you're strong, that you're on top, that you're powerful. And so sometimes it's good to get that check. It's good to get that, to get that balance and, and, and to hear what's really going on, you know, um, because I mean, I think this channel can really be helpful to men as well, because if you were wondering why you got ghosted, you know what I'm saying? If you were, if, if you don't last longer than five minutes, those are things that you should work on. If you're disrespectful and you don't know how to speak to women, just know that this next chapter and the direction that we're headed, women are no longer going to tolerate that. And so you're going to have to figure out who you want to be and what type of woman, because then we're going to talk about quality. A quality woman will never take bullshit. So if you're taking bullshit and you feel like you're a quality woman, one or two things, either you really don't feel like you're a quality woman or you're not a quality woman and you need to become a quality woman in your own eyes and do whatever you need to do so that you can have quality treatment because those are contradictions. A quality woman with an ancient man is a contradiction and people need to make those links. Like you can't be popping career wise out of that and you with an ancient nigga because he's an, he's a, he's an extension of you whoever you're claiming. And then, you know, I want to address something else. So I was watching a video with Shane Booty and this guy was talking about how, you know, with him, sex is just like, who does he feel like dealing with that night? You know, we always, we always talked about men having rosters where he's like, who do I feel like putting up with? Who do I feel like listening to talk so that I can fuck tonight? And then women were in the comments like, oh, like this is really eye opening, like to really see how men think. And it's like, bitch, don't act like if you're a bad bitch, if you're really a bad bitch, don't act like there are certain niggas that you would fuck, but you would never claim in public. Come on now. Come on now. There are certain niggas that I will fucking never, ever, ever, ever claim in public. What the fuck? So, because when you're a bad bitch, you recognize that when you claim somebody, 
whether that be your husband or your boyfriend or whatever title you're giving them, then then they're connected to you. They're, they're, they're a reflection of you. So you can't sit here and say, oh, I'm a badass bitch. Oh, I'm a quality ass woman. And, and you got an ancient nigga because he's a reflection of you. It's like your child. That's that's your man, right? So if your man ain't shit, then. And that's another thing. Be careful who y'all who y'all choose to claim and be careful who y'all choose to have sex with. Because I want to talk about this as well. Just because he's of age to have sex doesn't mean that he is mentally there like there are a lot of grown ass men like with grown ass men bodies that are what 26 28 but mentally they are eight or ten years old mentally and so if he's really childish if, he, if he's a childish ass nigga why are you having raw sex with him and giving him a baby because i'm in the store and i'm seeing this girl this man is so caught up in his phone and this song that's playing and he's like in enough and he's got he's holding a girl a little a little his daughter who's about maybe four or five and she's paying attention to where they're walking because he almost bumped into us she's paying she's the adult she's more mature mentally that man is probably eight or ten Okay, but he's in a 26 year old, 28 year old man's body. And so a lot of y'all are fucking kids. You're fucking kids. You're fucking boys that are that are in grown men bodies. And so, you know, if a nigga is childish or he doesn't have his shit together, that is that is a symbol of his age mentally. And just because he is of the age of consent of the age to be fucking doesn't mean he should be he should be fucking you and you should be giving him a kid. Y'all are giving kids to kids. You're giving kids to kids. And then you're giving, well, he going to get there one day. You're giving more faith and you're giving more trust and you're investing more into a man than to yourself. Why? Well, how about you get there one day? Hmm? And if you're already at a good level, how about you get to the next level? Because maybe if you get to the next level, you'll be in a room with better men than that. How about that? So. I know this video was supposed to be about um, do I hate men. Maybe I'll split it up into different subjects. Maybe I'll chop it up um, in different ways. But yeah, no, I do not hate men. I see men for what they are. And I see how they should be used. You know what I'm saying? Like fire will burn you, but fire, you can use fire for a lot of things. And if you know how to handle and conduct yourself around fire and with fire, then you'll be fine. And so for me, you know, femininity and water are definitely connected. And so if you know how to work your fem, if you know how to work your femininity, and you and if you own your sexuality, then then fire is 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 powerless in the case of conquering you. Fire can only purify you, and fire can only be used by you to advance your agenda and what you need done.